In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace or install your lawnmower's blades, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today with grass in your mind. And no, not that grass. You notice your mower is not cutting like you used to, or you went over something that chipped a piece off your blade. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. The first thing that you wanna do is remove the bagger from your lawnmower. Then we want to make sure that we removed all the gas from the tank. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and unplug the spark plug cable from the spark plug. And for extra precaution, we're going to cover it with a bag. Because the last thing we want on a clear sunny day is to die. Because a little spark from moving the blade around can make this video go from an easy install to a Wolverine movie. Now that we got the live another day instructions, we're ready to pull our sleeves up and show off some muscles. Always verify with your barbecue paper, I mean owner's manual for correct sizes and type. If you don't have that information, you can always remove the blade, take it to your hardware store or verify on the internet for the correct one. The first thing that we want to do is set the lawnmower on a table and have it on its side. For most lawnmowers, you want to have the air filter on the top side, opposite to the table. But in other lawnmowers, you want to have the air filter at the bottom. This is something that you want to verify on your owner's manual or on the internet. But a pro tip, always verify when you flip your lawnmower for any leakage. That could be a sign that you have it the other way around. And this might be an operation where you might need help. That's why today we call on Watson. Another pro tip, always use your legs and not your back. Now we're ready to remove the blade. But before we do that, we do want to save our fingers. So placing gloves, and in this case two gloves, is the way to go. Because you never know when in life you want to pick up a guitar and actually be able to play it. And if you already do, we salute you. So this technique basically is going to work for any lawnmower. What you want to do is stop the blade from turning. And you can use many methods for that. You can use a piece of wood like this one from an old rail or this pressure plier or vice grip or a almighty C-clamp. And because of the old ancient rule of lefty loosey, righty tighty, in this particular case, we don't want the blade to move to our left or its left or maybe your left. Now that we moved on to the second step, we want to mark the top side of the blade. And we do that to recreate the same position with the new one. Or you can take a picture of it. And if that's not enough, you can look at the curve of the corners plus and also where the sharp side is on the blade. And what we want to turn is the nut that holds the blade in the center. This particular model is a size 17. You can use a wrench. The bigger and longer, the better, because remember, you do want to break it loose. And depending how long it's been there and how tight it is, you might need to invoke your inner strength. But to make the job a lot easier, a breaker bar and socket would be the way to go. If you have someone assisting you, holding on to the lawnmower would help to remain everything on the table. We're going to yell thunder three times and then a long oh and break it loose. From there, you could go back to the wrench and finally finish off with your beautiful hand. And remember, you want to save the bolt because you're no longer a DIY amateur, you're a pro. And pros don't leave pieces behind. Remember, you don't do that no more. You're better than that. We compare the position of the old one to the new one and place it back. We have the turn and sharp side going the same way. And you can also see on the new blade, it has a diagram on how the blade turns. We want to insert the bolt by hand so we won't damage the thread. Then just like reverse engineering, we use the wrench again. and finish it off with the breaker bar. Once you feel it tight and it doesn't want to move, that's good enough. Remember, you have the strength to break the bolt off. That's why the ultimate warrior doesn't have anything on you. 
once we place the lawnmower back on the ground, we let it rest for five to 10 minutes so all the oil can go to their natural position. We remove the bag, connect the spark plug, and you're ready to mow once again. Once again, you remain king, queen, both, or none of your castle. Now, you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.